Storms striking the area tonight and breaking right now. We're following major wind damage and an apparent fire sparked by a bolt of lightning. Let's get right out live to Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo in Croydon. Matt, the storms were quick, but it is a dire situation tonight for some families. Joe, they really packed a punch, those storms. We're told here in Croydon, at least a thousand homes and businesses are without power, including the CVS behind me. This parking lot is being used as a command post here in Croydon, where authorities are receiving information about the extent of damage here. We're told trees have been toppled and roofs have been ripped off. The roof blew up. This is just part of a roof torn off an apartment building Sunday night here on Bristol Pike by Newportville Road in Croydon by a fast moving storm. Seeing it in that nature, that quick, that fast, it was pretty extraordinary. Not far from here, a tree crushed this home. It's one of at least five condemned in Croydon. Uh, some sort of weather event came through this portion of Croydon. We don't know exactly what it was, whether it was straight line winds or something else. And that wasn't the only wild weather today in Bucks County. Over in Ben Salem, these holes in this wall and smoke damage inside right, is just you. some of the mess left behind after a fire ripped through at least four apartments here at the Franklin Commons. I was in the kitchen. I heard a bang. Evidently, it must have been a direct hit. Arcade Bilo tracked the storm, finding lightning in the area during the time of the strike around 430 Sunday evening. Firefighters say the cause is under investigation, but it appears likely the fire did spark from a lightning strike. You know, the weather patterns are changing. We're getting some heavy storms coming through and the lightning's close. And despite all the damage today here in Bucks County, we're told only one person was injured, a firefighter due to exhaustion, but we're told he's recovering and doing okay. Reporting live in Croydon tonight, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.